I wonder what classic computer company we're going to be talking about today? It's Sony. No, I'm just kidding, it's totally not. Apple's rise, fall and rise again is so well documented. It's even got its own movie. And I mean, we all know the story of Steve Jobs, the iPod and of course the world being iPhone. But seeing as Apple's over 30 years old now, some of the tech giant's early successes are less well remembered. But that's probably because like iPhones have like destroyed our attention spans. Like, ooh. Back in 1984, Steve Jobs unveiled the first Apple Macintosh computer and history was made. For the first time ever, an Apple computer had been created for the masses. It may have had a $2,500 price tag and a meager nine inches of screen, but after an infamous Ridley Scott-directed commercial, Apple went on to sell 50,000 units. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Its groundbreaking and easy-to-use graphical user interface and handy mouse have defined personal computing ever since. And 30 years later, Apple still lead the way in innovation. If you happen to have a Macintosh 128K in good condition, it can fetch up to an eye-watering £2,500. But sadly, I don't, so I'm hoping to find someone that can tell me a thing or two about this computer legend. Apple fanboys are so obsessive that they you know, will literally collect anything, not only the main products, the things that we think of, but other little bits of trivia and history from the cult of Mac. My online hunt has brought me to London, where I'm meeting Apple enthusiast Paul at his Mac repair shop, which also doubles up as a vintage Mac museum. Talk us through oh, this well, bad boy. Look, this, is, this is the beginning. It's the beginning of Macintosh, which is the experimental wing of okay. Apple and dedicated to bringing about the first GUI, graphical user interface. Which was the on a, change of everything, obviously. Well, it meant that you didn't need a PhD yeah. to use a computer, you know. Should we make it speak? Let's make it speak! So this was its inaugural speech when Steve Jobs in 1984 brought it out of the bag, placed it on the table. I'd like to let Macintosh speak for itself. Hello, I am Macintosh. It sure is great to get out of that bag. And everyone went crazy. It was the start of everything. It was the start of everyone picking up a mouse. It was the start of everyone following a, a clicker around a screen and, and, and clicking on boxes. This was the beginning. So this is kind of the pièce de résistance of your collection, would you say? Is that a kind of yes. fair statement? Oh, come on. What is it's it? a completely bare-bones Apple One board. What, in its current state, what would this be worth? This in its current state, maybe a thousand pounds. I don't know how much it would be if it had all the components on it. Yes, I do, actually. About a quarter of a million. See, the thing was, Apple wanted people to trade in their original Apple Ones for an Apple II. Oh. And any Apple Ones that, that got traded in for an Apple II, band saw straight through the middle of it, in the bin. Which means there's possibly only 40 or 50 in existence, maybe, maybe a lot less. Should you happen to discover one of these weirdly in a car boot sale somewhere, it's worth a fortune, 100% pick it up. You know what, it did happen recently. What? Really? Yeah, yeah. In America, someone brought along an Apple One to, I think it was a recycling centre. Someone you know, recognised it, got in contact with the girl, and they split the proceeds. Wow. So they do still turn up. So what are these other bits then? So this is sort of like super rarity. This okay. is very difficult to put any kind of values on these things. This is called an Apple Tech Step, and this is what okay. the, the engineers would have taken around with them right. in the very early days, the Apple IIs, to diagnose okay. and repair them. Right, I get this. Why have you got some kind of tankard on the table? What's going oh, on there? Oh, this is very special. Christmas 1983. So this okay. was given to everybody who was on the Macintosh team just before the, the first Macintosh came out. That's an amazing piece of history, before yeah. the first Mac came out. Yeah, imagine everyone's... all the excitement, the excitement just, just in that glass. Have you drunk out of it? I never have. What? How have you not drunk out of it? I don't know. Can I drink out of it? Of course you can. A nice cold beer in the Mac mug with the Mac. I can just relax and enjoy my beer. While it might seem clunky and somewhat outdated now, the Macintosh 128K was a feat of computer engineering in the 80s and a pioneer of its time. In the words of Steve Jobs himself, It didn't just change Apple, it changed the whole computer industry. 